What's up everybody this is Joshua Casper and welcome to another video tutorial. Um, today I'm going to be showing you some advanced side chaining techniques um, and as always the source files are on the right hand side. Go ahead and download those and open them up. While you're doing that just to let you know it's great to rate, subscribe, and comment on my videos. They help fuel fuel my energy to make more for you guys to know that they're being appreciated and stuff like that. Also send me messages or comments about what you guys want to know about and I will try to cater my tutorials to those um, you know those questions and comments because you know I'm here to teach so I want to know what you want to learn instead of just teaching you kind of random stuff that you might use or not use but anyway um, let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial this is what we got here just a kind of electro house kind of baseline um, running with a kick very simple but uh, that's all I need to show you what we're going to do. So there's a very common way to side chain this bass line so you're not overpowering. Um, and that is drop a compressor on the audio channel on the channel and then just duck everything behind the kick. And that might give you a cool effect, you know, but that might not be what you want to do. See, what I want to do is have the raspy sound of this bass line run over my kick and the subby end of this bass line drop under the kick so there's not overpowering going on and the way to do that is take an audio effects rack drop it on the second audio channel come down here expand it take two EQ8s drop it on here come down here rename this one low rename this one high on the high end go ahead and hit a high pass filter on the low end, go ahead and hit a low pass filter. On the low pass filter, well, first let me show you what's going on before we even get into compression. Um, what we've done here is taken this loop and kind of sectioned it off into two things. And if you go ahead and play it, that's just a low end. You can't really hear it because it's coming out of the speakers on my computer, but on your headphones, you'll be able to hear it if you're working along. And that's the high end and that's both of them together. So right now we just kind of equalize them out and blah, blah, blah. But what we need to do now is take the low end and drop a compressor on it. Expand this to get the side chain options. Hit side chain to turn it on and from audio one, which is our kick, and just kind of bring your threshold down. I don't know, about 30, I guess. I can't really hear the low end if I don't have my uh, other speakers on or my headphones. But anyway, that should do it and go ahead and play it, see what you got. So in your headphones you should be able to hear or on your speakers, your monitors, you should be able to hear that the, the low end of this bass line is getting ducked behind the kick which is giving this kind of cool pulsating effect but the high end is just riding over it without kind of being changed and uh, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you. Um, you can obviously go through and change all these settings. Um, there's a lot to do to make it fine tune it and make it the best you can make it and cater it to your needs. 